Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing all things lime and the coconut girl. I cannot wait to share these recipes with you today. We're going to be making the most delicious cream coconut and lime margarita, a coconut milk chicken with cilantro and lime, and then my favorite all time coconut and cilantro rice. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I do all things home decor, cooking and cleaning. And if you're a turning girl, it's so good to see you. Let's just jump right into this video. So for my first recipe today, I'm gonna to be whipping up my favorite coconut cream and lime margarita. This is super simple. You can use any tequila you'd like, but to get started, let's go ahead and add one and a half ounces of tequila into a shaker. We're gonna add about one half an ounce of Cointreau into that. And then we're also gonna be adding about one fourth an ounce of simple syrup. Then I'm gonna be using some fresh lime juice. I'm gonna use both sides of this lime, but it comes out to about one ounce and pour that in as well. And once you have all that ready, we're gonna add about two ounces of coconut cream. We're not talking coconut milk, girl. We're talking straight coconut cream. This is going to be super delicious. Once you've added all that in, go ahead and add a little bit of ice in here and give it a good shake. Now to prepare the rim of our glass, I'm gonna add a little bit of a white sugar, a little bit of salt, and then my favorite part is some fresh lime zest. It's really gonna give that rim a sweet, zesty kick. And to get it to stick, I actually like to put a little bit of simple syrup on a plate and kind of rub the glass rim into that and then press the glass rim down into your sugar, salt, and lime zest. It is the perfect way to get to stick and once you have all of that done go ahead and add a little bit of ice to this glass and using a strainer just add your delicious coconut cream and lime margarita and devour this on any day i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and once you're done having your delicious margarita let's get started on our first dish So for our first dish today, I'm gonna to be making my favorite recipe with coconut, which is our pancetta wrapped prawns. Now to get started, I will be barbecuing this. We will need to submerge our skewers in a little bit of water. This takes about a half an hour. That way they don't burn when we throw them on the barbecue. But before we get started on the barbecue, we need to actually create a marinade for this. I'm gonna be adding our prawns, which I picked up cleaned and uh, ready to go from Whole Foods. And I'm gonna add them into a tray. Some of the seasonings you can put in here you can edit, but this is what I love. I love to use fresh jalapeno. I also do some roughly chopped cilantro, which we're gonna actually be wrapping up into the prawns when we barbecue them. So make sure it's just roughly chopped so it's not, it's actually pretty much easier to use when you're wrapping it up. Then I'm gonna be cutting two limes in half. We're going to be using that lime juice and adding it into our marinade. Then go ahead and grab a Pyrex, add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom. This is going to coat our prawns. I like to add a little cilantro in, get everything nice and submerged. Then I like to throw my fish in here. Once you get all of your prawns laid out at the bottom, then we're going to add more cilantro, some jalapenos, let all of that marinate in a gorgeous bed of coconut Malibu rum. Now I know this is kind of silly. You could do this two ways. You can actually use tequila or Malibu rum, but since we're doing all things coconut and I actually prefer it this way, I add the Malibu rum in here because I just think it adds such a better flavor. And oh my God, you guys, the smell of this dish is unreal. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this dish and seen how I swoon over how delicious it is. What I love about the pancetta is when you wrap it up and you barbecue it, it gets crunchy like bacon and it's the perfect pairing. So let's let this marinate for a bit and then we are going to start wrapping our prawns. So 
one other tip I can give you is I don't totally measure all of this stuff out. I use as much as I need to cover the Pyrex. So if you're doing half the amount, I'm making this for six people. So if you're using half the amount, I would just add as much of the liquid to the Pyrex until it just kind of slightly coats half the prawn. You don't need to totally submerge it. You can also do this in a bag too. You don't have to add it to the Pyrex, but now we're going to actually wrap these and I'll show you why it's kind of nice to have them laid out this way. When I use um, the pancetta, I actually get this, I got this one at Whole Foods, but you can get it in the deli department. I like it rounded this way. That way you can roll it out flat. This is super easy and pre-packaged. I think you can also pick this up at Trader Joe's, but as you can see, it just rolls straight out into a flat line. Then I like to grab one prawn, a little handful of the cilantro, and then one jalapeno. Now, if you're making this for your kids, you can totally omit the cilantro and the jalapenos depending on what you guys like, but it's super easy. You just add whatever you like in there. I also wanted to say I kept the tails on because I was going to pull these off and put little toothpicks in them for guests, and you can either keep the tails on as a cute little handle, or you can actually cut them off and they can be like pop but go ahead and just add about three to four of these to a skewer. I would also recommend giving enough space so the prawns can fully get crunchy in the barbecue. If you get them too close, they tend to stay a little moist. So go ahead and get all of these wrapped up and let's get these on the barbecue. Tell me in the comments down below if you've made any great recipes recently or know of any recipes that have a nice coconut or lime kick to them. I love trying different things here on my channel as you guys know and I'd love to know if you have any favorite recipes you love to cook with coconut. These are all prepped we're going to put these aside and barbecue them and bring them back out when it's time to serve dinner our next recipe is going to be a delicious coconut and lime creamy chicken which is going to blow anyone away in your family who loves chicken and wants to try it in a different style Okay, so to get started with this recipe, we wanna tenderize our chicken. I'm just using a one gallon plastic bag. I threw three chicken breasts in here. I'm gonna use a mallet just to kind of break this chicken down to make it extra tender. Now, I have linked this recipe down below if you wanna follow along, just cause there's a little bit more involved in this than our prawn, so definitely check that link out down below. But to get started, we're gonna take our chicken and we're actually gonna just dress it with a little bit of salt and pepper using a Dutch oven. We're gonna cook this down for about two to three minutes on each side, and then we're gonna get started with some of the ingredients we're gonna add into our sauce. So in sticking with our theme for coconuts and limes, you're gonna need a little bit of green scallion onion, some fresh cilantro, and some lime. We're gonna be using lime juice and some lime zest, which I really, really love using 
to really kick up any recipe. So to get started, let's just go ahead and chop up some scallions. You're gonna actually be adding the white and kind of light green parts to your mixture. And then we're gonna actually top it with the green, the very green ends as kind of like a garnish at the end. Once you're done with that, go ahead and loosely chop up cilantro. Again, you don't want it to be finely chopped, just a nice loose chopping is perfect. We're also going to want to chop up a little bit of garlic for this dish, which y'all know is my favorite. So definitely use maybe two. I'm using four here just because I really love the effect garlic has on this sauce. Once you're done with all of that, we're going to go ahead and cook down our chicken. So to avoid overhandling the chicken, I always season one side and then once I add it into the butter, I actually added the seasoned side down and then I season the other side. Once you have this cooked for about one or two minutes, go ahead and pull this off and set it aside. We're going to be adding this back into our creamy coconut milk and cilantro lime sauce. So you can, uh, if you, overcook it now it's going to get super dry later so I only cook it about 75% of the way and then I'll finish it with the sauce. So one trick I like to use to get all of these amazing brown bits off of the bottom of any pan is just add a little bit of chicken stock to the bottom using a whisk it will bring up all those little parts i know people are always talking about how it burns down on the bottom and i hear you girl but if you just use a little bit of chicken stock it'll come right off and make the most delicious broth it's like the best trick ever we're going to be using chicken broth down the road so i figured i use most of it now to get up some of those particles to really incorporate into while i saute down these green scallions and all of my garlic and really kind of bring up that like really good authentic uh, chicken flavor. So as you're making the base of your sauce, I would continue to keep trying to concentrate these flavors down. I'm gonna be adding half of my lime zest into the base here before I add the cream sauce. That way I know the lime zest has totally infused into the broth, which is super important. If you add it later, the lime zest almost acts like a vinegar component to the cream and it doesn't wanna kind of work its way into the flavors of the actual base. Then I'm gonna be adding a little of agave syrup. You can also add honey and then some red pepper flakes. Again, if you're gonna be making this dish for your family, you might wanna omit the red pepper flakes, but if you like Spice Girl, oh man, it's so good. Once you're done with that, go ahead and add your coconut milk and really stir that down. I like to let this cook for a little bit and then I actually will add real deal coconut cream. This is gonna give it that thick richness that really turns this recipe into a luxurious, amazing chicken sauce. I can't tell you how much I wish you were in my kitchen right now smelling this amazing dish. Thank you. 
So once your sauce has a really nice thick consistency to it, we're gonna add back our chicken. We're gonna let this kind of simmer for about another five to 10 minutes. The sauce you see right here is pretty thin, so I wanna get it a lot thicker, but I also want it to kind of envelop the chicken and cook into it. So we're gonna leave this here for a little bit, let that cook down, and while that's cooking, we're gonna start our coconut rice. So there's two ways you can do coconut rice. I'm gonna be using coconut milk, you can also use water with coconut powder. It works either way. It's the exact same way of making rice, except instead of using water, you're gonna be using coconut milk. I'm gonna let this cook down, and then once this is done, I'm gonna be adding in some fresh lime zest and cilantro. As a side to tonight's dinner, I wanted to do a very simple green, so I'm gonna be just adding a little bit of asparagus, which I'm gonna to top with some fresh garlic and Parmesan cheese. So now that our coconut cream sauce has really thickened up, this is when we're gonna add my favorite part. So I'm gonna be adding some fresh cilantro, some fresh Parmesan cheese to the top of this. And you can also do sun-dried tomatoes. There's a million other ways you can do this cream sauce, but I'm gonna be just adding those. We've pulled the prawns off the barbecue and they smell so good, you guys. Please, please definitely try this recipe if you're into prawns, because it's so good. So all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of rice to my plate. I'm gonna add a nice piece of chicken to the top, a little bit of that sauce, but not too much. You don't want to be overbearing. There's a lot of flavor in these recipes, so I try not to go over the top. And then we're gonna add a little bit of our asparagus and a couple prawns and call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's cook with me. I hope that this inspired you the next time you guys go to make dinner for your family to make something kind of fun and interesting. And if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Lauren again, and I hope you enjoyed today's recipes. If you would like to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us stay in touch with one another. I am a full-time working mom of four, and this is an absolute hobby for me to bring all of the things that make my house a home to you. And I love to hear what you guys are doing. So whether it's cooking, cleaning, decorating, find me on Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson and subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch and definitely share in the comments down below where you're from and what you love most about your house. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.